Today I wanted to run some more Dragon Priest, so here we are. Running the Dragon Priest. Might have a bit of a programming change coming up. So, Persona 5 came out. I have beaten the game. That was about a month. Um, in the very beginning, I was recording. I thought, wow, like, if I'm going to pour this much time into a game, I might as well do it for the channel. And then, like, I was playing it day of because I was excited. So I got, like, an hour of recording in that day. And then all of a sudden, some stuff comes down the pipe from Atlas about don't stream past a certain date, don't stream any boss battles that are important, stream or post on YouTube. And, um... Well, that put me in a bit of a tight spot. We don't want to have copyright strikes on our channel. We've only had two the entire time, and we've either removed the video or changed it as necessary. So, at a certain point, I had to decide, do I want to keep doing this and hope slash assume that eventually they're going to loosen these restrictions because, like, the game's been out in Japan, and that hasn't been a problem. And they have even... Before now, like I think about a week ago or so, they moved back the date that you couldn't stream or record past from July in-game to November. Well, let's boost this guy up. Two health? How about five health? Um, you still can't show the whole game. They're still trying to avoid the critical juncture in November where everything kind of flips on its head, things change, things are not as... I don't want to say telegraph because that sounds like the story's predictable, and it's not that. It's really just the fact that, like, the way the, the story is structured, this happens. I would love to draw a card. So, I mean, I have some footage of the game. And I have to decide how much of it's worth it. At one point, I even talk about how, well, the streaming restrictions happen, but I'm going to keep going. But then I... The thing is, like, it takes a lot of work to record, specifically from your vocal cords. Now, you can, you can go at a good pace for quite some time. Do I Holy Nova here? It feels pretty good to Holy Nova here. And still heal there. I can draw three cards off of this. He's just sitting here doing nothing. I don't know what other play we do. Twilight Drake for a 4-5? Like, might as well set up a big Drake. Yeah, we're going to draw all the cards this turn. That's right, I don't have enough mana. Ha <laughs> Let's do it here. There's a pal we like to see. I mean, this certainly appears to be a control mage. He has not done anything, really, except ping with hero power. But he's already at 15. So... The gates are open. Or, instead of a control mage, he's just... A low-level dude trying to do his best. So we're going to do this. And then this. Having to coin that out, I think it's a good sign for us. Take him down to nine. We have two damage in hand. So what we might end up doing is editing down some of the Persona stuff. And even though it's not going to be a complete playthrough, posting that because it's a blind run. I don't know anything about the game at that point. It's really just like impressions, if anything. And then at some point, maybe a full playthrough. I am actually eager to do a new game plus, which hasn't really been the case on the other Persona games I've played. Yeah, that was quite the game, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's do one more. Um, so a new game plus makes some interesting possibilities come up. You maintain several things. I'm not entirely sure exactly what it is which means you don't have to spend your afternoons and eat. doing any of that stuff like the part-time jobs. You can focus primarily on social links. And there are a couple I didn't get to finish that I would like to go through and see what else they have in them. It would also shorten the game a bit. I've been through it now, so I won't be 
stuck on a couple of the puzzles, although I didn't have a terrible time with that. I wonder if you keep both Cabal Talon Priest, or if that's just weird. Eh. This is kind of the early game we're looking for, and then later on we're going to play some big dudes. That said, I don't love the fact that this is a Taunt Warrior, but when you see Warrior, especially at this level, it's almost always the quest Taunt Warrior. So you certainly see a little bit of Pirate down here. We didn't have the Fiery War Axe last turn, so I think we see Tar Creeper or something here. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to sit idly by and just wait around, so let's do this. Hit him once. Open up a healing possibility. He can't heal it in, or kill it in turn because Tar Creeper's attack goes back down. Then we can kill it with a 3-4 next turn. Keep building the board. Heal up some stuff. Power Word Shield's going to be nice. It's a little bit awkward for us to work around just because we can't quite kill it next turn as it stands. Ah, yes. You know, I thought about running Shield Bearers in that deck, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I guess it accelerates the timetable if that's how you want to go about it, but... By doing that, he's actually given us some options here. Let's start with this. Uh, you can kind of make a case for Alex Strasse here. Dragon Operative is just so good. But in this case, we can kind of hang on to this and play our other Operative next turn. All right, so then how else do we want to do this? He's given us some options here by actually attacking our Northshire Cleric because now we can kill a couple of these minions here. So I think I just want to do it like this. And we're going to drop the heal here. Well... Might as well get while the getting's good, right? This is sort of what is in mind for this deck being shown in motion here, though. Like, use these other cards for the early games so that we have a board presence we can contest and we can keep control, and then the dragons start coming out later. Don't really have much of a choice. There aren't any other dragons to pull out anymore. <sighs> Buffing up them taunt minions. We don't really have much in the way of an answer to this. We can kill it, though. And I think we should. So, let's start with this. Because this refills our hand. <laughs> uh... Battle Rage tempting, but I don't think necessary by any means. Um, and then we do this like this. Because we don't want that living. Because we ended up taking Alex Strasse, we now have the option of playing primarily with board control and only really looking to change that up when we can drop him to 15 health. Before, we would have been looking to kind of like wither away over time. Uh, now, it's more about maintain board control and then flip the switch on turn 9, assuming everything's held up until then. Yeah. Let's see if he wants to try and take away this trade. He knows I can still heal it. Mm -hmm. 
this, even with the Divine Shield and not having Shadow Word in our hand, we can still kind of just get rid of this if we want to. I think we're going to try and set up a big Twilight Drake next turn. And as such, we're going to do this. Yep. And this. And this. Ooh, I would like an Execute. That'd be pretty sexy. Um, and we're actually going to go ahead and trade away these things. Because now we pretty much have the same board we had last turn. We've dealt with that. We're protecting against Brawl a little bit more, although we're not super scared about it at this point. Don't even necessarily mind seeing it because we have some big minions already in hand that are ready to go when we get to turn 9, 10. I wonder what he got the plus two, plus two on. He's still sitting with that in hand. And we're at seven mana now, so unless it's the four eight dude that does two damage everywhere, I'm not entirely sure what that's about. Executes coming here. We love to see that this early. Where are we at here? Five? Yeah. Okay. Definitely doing this. Oh my god, he has the friend mission. Little does he know he's on camera. Um well, we have a taunt minion in hand, so stolen goods actually isn't the worst. A weapon's also not terrible, though. I think we'll just go ahead and take here. <laughs> he does know he's recording. Oh, no. He's too smart for this. <laughs> he's spectating. I think he's going to be able to see on YouTube later. Poor sucker. I like our position here. Looks like the big dude might finally be coming out. Is it the 4-8 that does two damage? That's actually pretty good against our deck because, as usual, priest decks struggle with those four attack minions. We can answer everything else. Three or below, five or up, but the four ones... Tough. And it's a dragon, so the dragon fire potion also not effective against it. I think I need to craft one or two of those. Wouldn't mind running one in my taunt warrior deck. He is deep in the tank here. Okay, we can easily deal with that. So the question is, what else do we want to do with our mana? I think playing the biggest Drake possible is nice. We're going to hit here. We're going to go ahead and burn Execute. We're going to play this. To draw. And we're going to go into face. Now, I know that's the antithesis of what we just talked about, because next turn we could Alexstrasza, but the reason I don't really care is because we have two other pretty solid choices, particularly Ysera. Okay. So this has happened, but is it too late? That's going to be the question here. 510, kind of a pain in the ass to deal with, no question. It's not terrible. There were certainly worse outcomes that could have happened there. That's the wrong shadow word. If we had drawn death off the top, that would have been pretty sexy. Um, So the choice here, as I'm mulling it over, is basically do we dragon fire potion, we lose our 2-3 for it, but we can then kill the 5-10. We get to swing for four more, taken to nine. Or do we just Ysera? And trade our board into that. I think we just Ysera. It's 
Not a bad one. It's going to help us close this out. So everything we have out now is a dragon. So between Dragonfire Potion and Ysera Awakens, I mean, we have some options. Okay, shield block. The other reason Ysera is nice is because it was a potential target for the uh, 8 damage hero power. There's the other execute. That's good. Tark Reaper, we can kill that. <laughs> oh, this was the Shadow Word. Haha, <laughs> isn't that embarrassing? Because it was reduced. Didn't even think about it. All right, so... <sighs> I don't really love any of the plays here. I want to do this. And I think we want to get this down. Heal there to try and help it live. Because he can't armor up anymore. The hero power can only kill one of these two. And either of them lets us kill with Ysera Awakens. So we're kind of setting up a lethal, assuming he can't kill both of these minions. And we know both of the executes are gone now. That's great for us. That's fine. Nothing to stop us from having lethal yet. One other card in hand. Could have already been there. Oh, that's even better then. Just because it's fun. Let's do it that way. That was a good one, though. Like, we had a nice little back and forth. Much better than the first match where that guy, unfortunately for him, didn't stand a chance. I had the one misplay there because I'm just not paying enough attention. But other than that, things worked out pretty well. Besides that, I think we made pretty decently optimal decisions, so that's not too bad. So uh, we'll see what's coming tomorrow, whether it's more Hearthstone or we actually just start dropping some Persona videos because we have them and we might as well use them. Not entirely sure yet, but we'll see what what happens.